Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see Kannada fights from both the Hindu and also Indian Express. So I included some important articles from Indian Express also. So that articles that you are going to get in the notes. So where can you download these notes? So if you join the Telegram channel, the link is given in the description box. Then you can get notes of this class. And there is no need of making note making while watching this video. Just after listening to this class, go through the notes once. Okay, so here in this class, we are going to discuss current fights of 30th October 2023. And these current fights are important for any comp to examination. For example, if you are preparing for UPSC or any other state public service examination, for railways and uh, bank examinations or for your SSC examinations, current affairs plays a very important role and you are covering those current affairs in this session. So without wasting any time, first we are going to see the Hindu PDF and later on we are going to see the notes part. Is that clear? Yes. Now let us see first topic it is about 8 feared dead, 32 injured in a train accident in AP. So actually nowadays we are seeing there is increased incidence of train accidents. So there is increased train accidents. So here you can read about railways, introduction of railways in India. You can talk about introduction of railways in India. So you can also let me know. Who is the father of railways? Who is the father of railways in India? And one tragedy I want to tell here is, so if you are comparing railways between India and China, so China came up with these railways after India. But if you compare now, so China is very much forward in railways than compared to that of India. It is having the most advanced technology in these railways. That is nothing but China is having the far most advanced technology in railways than compared to that of India. And most of the railways in India is belonging to the Britishers' time. That is not at all feasible now. They are not much competitive with the technology that is having in the other countries and even we are having lot of challenges regarding railways in India. And please let me know what are the challenges we are facing in Indian railways in comment box. Don't forget about this. And next topic is blast kill 2 injure 41 at prayer meet near Kochi. So what happens? So there is explosion of bomb, right? So here you have to know about what are the reasons and what is the impact and even you have to know about National Investigation Agency. So regarding this National Investigation Agency, you have to focus on facts and based on facts, you can get a prelims based question. Clear? So, these are the two important topics from our first page of The Hindu. And if you move on in city page, there is one article that is about air quality. Air quality stays in very poor category for second straight day. So, here you have to see different categories of air quality index. You have to see different categories of air quality index. So, this will be very important from your prelims point of view. That is it. And you can move on to states page. So, in states page I found nothing much important in today's newspaper. So, you can move on to this editorial page. So, in this editorial page there is one article regarding criminal laws. So, we are going to come up with reforms in criminal laws. So, reforms in criminal laws. 
So recently we came up with three bills. So these three bills they were introduced in Parliament to repeal IPC, CRPC, and Indian Evidence Act. So after introduced in this Parliament, now they were under the scrutiny of Parliamentary Committee. Okay. So this article says that Parliamentary Committee appears to be quite close to finalizing report on these three bills. And these three bills are going to replace IPC, CRPC, and Indian Evidence Act. Right. So once the finalization of this parliamentary committee will be happened, then we will be getting data. That data we are going to see in detail in future. And next topic is about <coughs> speaker. Speaker of Lok Sabha and Speaker of State Legislative Assembly. And here you have to focus on Speaker functions and which are the articles talks about these functions. So all these things are very important from your UPSC means point of view. And if you move on in this opinion page, there is nothing much important. So in this textual context, you can see about the problems of Indian Railway, especially it is facing revenue problem. So I want to share one fact. So if Indian Railways are getting 100 rupees, so out of this 100 rupees, it is paying about 95 to 97 rupees. So the profit here is 2 to 3 percent only for this railways. So that is tragedy. So because of this very less profit for Indian Railways, it is not going for development or it is not going for extend, expanding of this infrastructure or it is not going for replacing of lanes with the new lanes. So this is a problem with this Indian Railways actually. Clear? And next topic is about US Venezuela ties. So here you have to see the map. So I forgot to include the map. So you have to see the map of US and Venezuela. And let me know which are the countries sharing boundary with this Venezuela. Okay, so this topic is at most important from your GS paper too. And here you can get a main uh, prelims based question here. And you can move on to this news page. So in this page you can see one article that is Our Prime Minister discusses security situation in West Asia with Egypt President. So this article is very important but now what happened there is increased relevance to this West Asia. Right. So because of this here we need to maintain security in this West Asia. And even India came up with this connecting of Europe through this West Asian part. Right? And I to you too. So everything which is relevant to this West Asia. So here what happened security situation, establishment of peace and security and law and order in the West Asia is very important for our Indian investments. And if you move on. Here you can see very interesting article it is about government preparing to release Vision India 2047 document and this 2047 document it will be like a pup, uh, cupcake for you people who are preparing for UPSC. So what are the data that you are going to see in this uh, vision document then you have to mug up so that you can write a very good answer and even that data will be useful to write conclusion part as well. Okay, so whenever this is released, so we are going to have a detailed discussion and we are going to have a separate dedicated video on this Vision India 247 document. Okay, so that's all. So these are the very important articles that appeared in our today's Hindu newspaper. And now let us have a discussion on the notes part now. So if you really like this session, so please hit the like button. Don't leave the session without liking the session. Okay, clear? So if you are liking means then, the, uh, then there will be increasing of reach so that the more a uh, number of students they can watch this video and they will be getting the more views. So this will be helpful for encouragement for me. So first two topics are from Indian Express. So here you can see title says political misinformation is a problem. 
but asking whatsapp to risk user privacy is a wrong solution yes what happened now we are using the social media platforms for example telegram whatsapp facebook and instagram etc so those are the mediums so there will be the fast spread of information so if there is any misinformation or disinformation is there so through the social media platforms a fast uh, spread of messages which is happening so because of this now here we ask the whatsapp to to identify those people who are messaging or who you are forwarding those messages but it said that it is affecting right to privacy so here in india right to privacy it is a fundamental right which declared in ks putuswami case in this ks putuswami judgment the supreme court said that right to privacy comes under the integral part of fundamental rights so here we should not go for infringing or violation of the fundamental rights so this is the thing which mainly said and now here we have to focus on the keyword that is political misinformation so if we're talking about this political misinformation it means nothing but wrong political beliefs it means nothing but wrong political beliefs but holding them confidentiality so we are holding them very very trans very very confidentially so they are different from being uniform so misinformed individuals they have wrong belief so while uniform individuals they lack knowledge of these topics that will comes under this political misinformation and what will be the impact so many people they will be share the same wrong beliefs in the social media platforms that will have influence on the public opinion so here this is also one important thing and as one is it is also different from rumors so rumors they are statements that lack solid evidence and might occasionally turn out to be true but this misinformation is unequivocally false information so misinformation itself it is a false information and there will be connection with conspiracy theories as well some conspiracy theories can be seen as a sub type of political misinformation okay so these are some important things regarding this misinformation and now let us see which are the initiatives taken by government of india to control this misinformation in india so we have laws like uh, ipc indian penal code and we have various sections section 153 and section 153a which addresses about this provocations disharmony and defamation and even we have this information technology act of 2000 So this act also talks about fake news through the fake accounts, and this one is IT Rules 2021. So these are the guidelines which are used for regulating the content on social media platforms, and even they will be talking about the news portal. So how to regulate the misinformation in the news portals as well. So these are the platforms. They are with over 50 lakh users. They face increased compliances under this. So these are the some important initiatives which are taken by government of India to control the spread of misinformation. So apart from this, here we also have Press Council of India and News Broadcasters Association as well. So they have to control the spread of misinformation. Okay, and even we have social media platforms like WhatsApp and Facebook. so facebook came up with a partnership with indian third pack third party and they are banning this false accounts and in the whatsapp here so restrictions on the bulk messaging and a fact checking hotline for users they have to flag the messages so in this way we can control this misinformation in our country so what are the concerns of this misinformation so first one is privacy and encryption So whenever we are going into the taking out of the data regarding the people who are spreading this information, it will comes under privacy issues. So it is because in the case put us from a judgment, Supreme Court said that right to privacy will comes under the integral part of right to life and liberty, and it is also a fundamental right. So here, if you are talking about this privacy and encryption, so whenever we are taking the data, that will be. compromising on users privacy right 
and even platforms like whatsapp they use end to end encryption for user privacy so it is also one challenge so whenever there is end to end encryption so even whatsapp cannot retrieve the data and next one is it is also vague and misleading definitions so public order is open to interpretation which might lead to misuse the first originator isn't clearly defined risking innocent users being wrongly targeted Sometimes what happen whenever we are not having the everything which is detailedly covered in the law or act or any policy, that will lead to misleading, okay, misinterpretation. And next important thing here is effectiveness and misuse. So sophisticated users they can spoof identities and they can evade the rules a purpose. and they will be also tra tracking all messages affects everyone's privacy not just the wrong doers and this one is legal and real world implications so real world analogy which mainly suggests that say there will be significant impact on individual freedom like tagging every citizen when they step out so all these things are very important okay clear and now let us see next topic it is about visa shopping so have you ever heard about this word visa visa shopping yes means type 1 and no means type 2 in the comment box okay here we are going to see about this visa shopping so now there is increased practice of this visa shopping happening right in indian states so what exactly is this visa shopping so visa shopping is nothing but it is a practice where individual obtains visa for countries one may or may not intended to visit during visa validity period okay visa so visa uh, so here this article says that it is just a practice individuals are obtaining visa for countries or may or may not intended to visit the other places so this is called as visa shopping and what is the purpose the purpose here is individuals they are opting so whenever they are getting this visa shopping as a means to enter their preferred countries particularly in europe even if they already have a visa for another european nation so here the purpose here is whenever if, for example if i am having a visa okay so if i am having a visa and i am going to a preferred country i am going to europe but in europe we have different countries right right so europe as a continent we have lot of countries so even if i already have a visa for so and so country and if i want to move to another country it is not happening so here if you are talking about example regarding this visa it allows a troll it, it allows the travelers to explore many european countries without the need for the separate visa and this schengen system was established by european countries in year 1985 under it member countries from schengen area and people they can travel freely between them without going through the border permissions so this is the thing which mainly said and what are the concerns so this visa shopping it is not illegal it is not illegal if the traveler follows the norms and guidelines of visa process and if he is getting valid permission from the authorities and the legal concerns arise if a traveler seeks visa for one country but actually intends to stay in another or use it merely as an entry point so this will be a one cause of concern and now let us move on to the next topic it is about speaker and this topic is at most important from your gs paper to under polity point of view So now let us see this topic. So here, Speaker of Lok Sabha is the presiding officer. Okay, so Speaker will be nothing but he is presiding officer of Lok Sabha, and in case of Legislative Assembly also, Speaker will be the person that is like a spokesman. So here, Article ninety four of Indian Constitution, which says that. the speaker of the lok sabha shall be chosen from among the member of house so among the member of house so we can select this speaker so this is very important point and you have to remember the article so what is the role of speaker in parliamentary democracy so what is the work which is done by the speaker 
Very good question. So you need to know, right? So first and the foremost thing here is he will preside the house. So speaker is responsible for chairing the sessions of the Lok Sabha and he needed to ensure that the debates and discussions they are conducted in orderly and respectfully manner. Okay, so here this is the first and primary responsibility of this speaker. And the speaker has the authority to rule on the points of order and to enforce the rules of the parliament. So, speaker also has the authority to rule on points and orders. And next one is, so this speaker will be acting as a spokesperson for Lok Sabha. And the speaker is often called upon to represent the Lok Sabha and to speak on the behalf of the Lok Sabha in public or at intermediate events. So in all these events, yes, speaker plays a very, very important role. And he will be also helpful in maintaining the impartiality in Lok Sabha. So speaker is expected to be neutral and he should not be biased towards any political parties while discharging his duties and to ensure that all members of Lok Sabha they are treated fairly and as well as equally. So, this is very, very important. And next point is here we have to ensure that the speaker have to ensure transparency and accountability of Lok Sabha. And he is especially responsible for ensuring the proceedings of the Lok Sabha and to open transparent, okay, and to open transparent and the public has access to information about the work of this Lok Sabha. And this one is he will be also play a very important role in legislative process. So the speaker has a number of duties they are related to the passage of legislation including like assigning the bills, committees, declining the order in which the bills are considered and certified. So this is the thing. And next one here is some major functions of the speaker are so, under this article 95, speaker, he sh shall preside over the sittings of this Lok Sabha. And even he have to maintain decorum. Decorum means nothing but the people who are attending this session. And article 96 talks that speaker shall have a right to take part in proceedings of the house. And even speaker in any sitting of the house of any committee of the house of which he or she is a member but shall not have the right to vote in the first instance. So this is also one important thing which mainly said by this article 96. And article 97 says that the speaker shall be responsible for certification of money bills. So for certification of money bills and financial bills, Speaker plays a very, very important role. And next one is Article 100 says that Speaker shall have the casting vote. Speaker shall have the casting vote in the event of a tie in the voting of in the voting in the house. Okay, so he will be not uh, voting in the first instance. So if there is any tie here, Speaker will be also casting his vote. Okay, so these are some important functions of the speaker and you have to remember and you have to mark up the things. And next topic it is about problems of Indian Railways. It is facing extremely the revenue problem because what amount, uh, what is the amount that they are getting profit like around 2 to 3 percentage but with that profit they can't go for development. So this is the thing which mainly said. So here this article says that Indian Railways has been uh, on a spending spree. Spray means within short time, so they are spending a lot. Okay, so Indian Railways has been spending spree with respect to capital expenditure. Capital expenditure is also called as CapEx. Particularly after the government merged its railway budget with the main budget. So earlier what happened, so we have two different budgets. Budget for, one budget is for railways and one budget is the general budget. But now what happened, so we have this uh, uh, elimination of this railway budget is seen right so if you see details it says that CAG that is control alter general report presented in parliament so recently here CAG report presented in the parliament on August 8th 2023 and this report which says that 
there was a loss of rupees sixty eight thousand two hundred sixty nine crore in all classes of passenger services during twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two with all profit. Okay, with all profit from freight traffic and nullified in cross subsidizing passenger services. So here you have to know one concept called as cross subsidy. So how many of you know about this cross subsidy? Please raise a hand. How many of you? Okay. So here, if you are talking about trains, or you can talk about railways, some trains they will be carrying freight. Freight means like goods. I think you might have seen this goods train, right? So it will be like uh, boxes, boxes will be there. It will be like containers, and that containers goods will be present, and they will be carrying by a train. That is called as freight goods. And next one is passenger trains. Next one is passenger trains. The first one is goods train. The second one is passenger trains. So here Indian Railways will be collecting more amount of money from this goods train, and that will be diverted to this passenger train. So this type of uh, getting profit from one area and they are investing in another area that is called as cross subsidy. Okay, so here we are facing the problem with this cross subsidy in this trains. So here the objective of this three part series it is to examine how the freight business of IR can be improved. So the question here is how can we improve this Indian railways? How can we make this Indian railways more effective? So this is the question now. And next topic is about U.S. Venezuela ties. So this article is at most important. So now let us see this topic here. So if you see the context, it says that the Biden administration had agreed to ease year-long brutal sanctions against countries' oil, gas, and mining industries in exchange of President Nicolas Maduro conducting free and fair elections in Venezuela in 2024. So actually in US, in US we have an act that is called as CARTSA. So CARTSA is nothing but countering American adversaries through sanction act. That means if there is any enemy to US, so if there is any country which is coming with a relation with that country, then it will be imposing CARTSA. Right, so here we have country one, and this is USA. So USA, which have no proper relations with this country, but if country two wants to come and join this country, means so USA can impose this CARTSA, countering American adversaries through sanction act on the second country. So this is the one important thing that you have to remember. Okay, so if you see the details, it says that. So within weeks of the February 2022 invasion, Biden administration dispatched top officials to negotiate with this Kansas, the country with the world's largest oil reserves. So world's largest oil reserves, which is present here, and so as to smooth the effects of the energy crisis issuing from the conflict. So because of this Russia-Ukraine conflict, what happened? So both the times and many a times the supply chain disruptions happen. So to come out of this, yes, we need to come up with this agreements with these type of countries which are oil rich. And Maria Maria Corina Machado, he has won a huge victory in October 2022. It is a Venezuela's opposition primary. So this is about this topic, and you have to see map of Venezuela where it is located, and which all the countries sharing boundary with this Venezuela. So if there is any uh, important feature like uh, rivers or any. Uh, not only rivers, uh, but also any forests, etc., deserts are there. So you have to go through that as well. So open your physical map for this. Okay, so this is about this topic, and these are some important articles that appear now today's Hindu newspaper. So from tomorrow onwards, I will be trying to cover more articles. Okay, so even the session will be around fifty to one hour time. So we are going to see almost all the articles tomorrow. Okay, so this is our Telegram channel. There is Rathor's IES classes, so you can join this Telegram channel. So you can get the notes here. 
and whenever you are posting videos so you will be getting the notification here and this is our Rathos IS Academy YouTube channel you have to do subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever you are posting video you will be getting the notification and here in this Rathos IS Academy you can click on this playlist area and there are lot of uh, videos which are available so which are the videos that you are in need you can watch those and next topic the next it is about Rathod's IS Academy website so this is the home page of Rathod's IS Academy so if you are visiting for the first time to our website you can click on this login register so after that you have to click on do not have account and you have to fill all these details and you have to register so after registering only you can go for this login you can give your mail id and password and you can click on login and then here you can see this courses and course list so these are the wide range of courses that we are offering in this Rathod's IS academy so each and every topic that we will be discussing uh, from the base to advanced level even though if you have zero knowledge yes you can join this course and next one here is here you can see daily mains answering course so the new batch is going to be started in the next week so if you are facing problem in this answer writing skills and the content so how to frame or structure answer everything you can join that course and here we are only we are also going to come up with this uh, uh, booster course please booster course in the November first week or second week so you can also join that you will be having live classes you will be having daily test you will be having the schedule everything and we are going to have a name to complete entire this uh, GS portion related to prelims in these next five to six months of time so that there will be high chance of clearing this UPSC and next here we are also going to uh, provide this foundation course for 2024 and 2025 so students who have no idea regarding this UPSC who are extremely beginners you can join this course and the cost here is 45,000 rupees and if you are doing the payment in one go there will be extra 10 percentage discount or else you can pay in installment facility as well okay so these are the courses that we are offering in this Rathod's IES so one thing here is even if you are not paying a single penny so if you click on buy uh, if you click on this play course so three demo videos will be opened okay so this is about uh, current affairs today so by this i'm concluding so please do like the video and don't forget to share this video to your friends and please do subscribe to rathor's is academy thank you so much for watching